we're going to do tonight is uh, preparing a tasting plate for cheeses made in uh, New York State. The first one I'm going to serve is this triple cream that I'm going to cut in six pieces so they have the right size for a tasting. So this is called St. Stephen and it is a triple cream. The next one, the big difference, what's really original about this particular cheese is as you can see the spots, the dark spots, these are truffles. Truffles being very powerful, this is a cheese with a lot of flavor. If you like the truffle, it's very enjoyable. This is the second piece for tonight, made by RNG in New York State. Number three, this is a specialty from a tiny little company, also upstate New York, called the Vulto Creamery. This is really what we call a wash dry, so it is already what we can call a smelly, stinky cheese. These washed rinds, 9 out of 10, they do have an edible rind. If you like it, go for it. If you don't, you can cut it off. Now we're gonna go over to the harder cheeses. So this is tumbleweed, it's a fantastic specialty also from upstate New York. And the best comparison for those who know the French Cantal, which is a cheese a little flaky. Cow's milk cheese, raw milk cheese. This is in that style. It's one of the best cheeses available, in my opinion, in New York State. And it's called Tumbleweed. It's made by Five Spoke Creamery, upstate New York. The next one, it's a cheddar. Cheddar is made basically Wisconsin, California, Vermont and so on and so on. New York is known for its cheddar too. The big difference with this cheddar is that it's 10 years old, but not dry. It kept the smoothness, the creaminess of the cheese. So this is our cheddar, 10 years old. And then last but not least, each cheese plate, in my opinion, should end with a blue cheese. There are not that many blue cheeses available in New York State, but one of the most well known is Old Channel. Sheep's milk cheese, blue cheese. And this is the cheese that you can compare the most to a French hot farm, which is also 100% sheep's milk. It's not too dry, it's a little on the creamy side, a lot of flavor, very nice to end a meal or a cheese plate. Now that the cheeses are ready, all it needs is a little cheesy compliment, a cracker, and that's it. And you have a nice assortment of cheeses made in New York State.